Welcome to the Word 2010 Section Break screencast. By default, Word documents are created with a single section and therefore any formatting will be applied to the entire document. By inserting section breaks, you are able to split a document into two or more sections, which allows you to apply different formatting or page layout to individual sections. This is particularly useful where you want different headers and footers for each section, or you want to change the page orientation for specific pages within a document, for example. The following screencast will look at the two main types of section breaks, next page and continuous section breaks. Firstly, we will look at a next page section break. As the name implies, a next page section break will start the section on the next page. You would use this break when the changes you want to apply affect entire pages. For example, if you wanted to change the page size, orientation or the margins for one or a number of pages. Firstly, click just before the word you want to be at the start of the next section. In this case, the word introduction. Then in the ribbon at the top of Word, click on the Page Layout tab. Slightly along this tab, you will see the Breaks feature with a drop-down arrow next to it. Click the arrow and halfway down you will see the Section Breaks menu. The first one listed is the next page section break that we require, so select this option. As you can see, the word Introduction now appears in a new section on the next page. This allows us to apply format into one section that will not affect the other section. To demonstrate this, scroll up to the start of your document, then still in the Page Layout tab, click the dialog box launcher in the bottom right hand corner. From here, select the Layout tab, then in the Page section, click the drop down arrow and select Center. Click OK to apply your changes. You can now see that the first page of the document, Section 1, has everything vertically aligned and centred. If you scroll down to page 2 and beyond, Section 2 of the document, you can see that those changes have not been applied. Next we will look at a continuous section break. Continuous section breaks enable you to isolate text within a page and change layout elements such as the number of columns in which the text appears. This might be handy, for instance, when creating a newsletter or flyer. To demonstrate this, I will click just to the left of New York, then still in the Page Layout tab, click the drop-down arrow next to Breaks and select Continuous Section Break. We can now apply a rule just to the part of the document where the break has been inserted. Still in the Page Layout tab, click on Columns and select 2. You will see the list of addresses now appears in two columns after the insertion point of the continuous section break. If you wish to review where you have inserted a section break, click on the Home tab and select the Show Hide option. Here you can see the point where the section break was inserted. Thank you for listening to the section break screencast. If you have any comments or need any further help using section breaks in Word, then please get in touch in one of the following ways.